Hi, I'm Larry Janeski, president of Basement Systems. We call the Santa Dry Basement Air System a basement miracle machine. In this video, I want to show you how it works and why we call it that. The Santa Dry is a 100 pint dehumidification system, but it's more than that. It has particulate filtration and humidity control in a single unit. The Santa Dry, first of all, has a pre filter that takes out all the dust bunnies from the air before the air gets to a MERV 11 filter. Now, a MERV 11 filter is a very fine filter. It filters out particles in the air down to two microns in size. It will take out all the particles, two microns or larger, and that includes all mold spores and other dust particles, including the number one indoor allergen, which is dust mite droppings. And the MERV 11 filter will take out 50% of the particles greater than one micron in size, and that's a very good filter. The pre-filter can be washed out in the sink when it gets dusty. It's important to keep the dehumidifier clean on the inside because if dust gets clogged up in the coils inside, it'll block the airflow. So that's another reason that we filter the air. The main filter can be changed at intervals whenever it gets dirty, and every basement will vary, but usually once a year is enough to change the main filter. The Santa Dry is a 100 pint dehumidifier. In other words, it's rated to take out 100 pints of water from the air every 24 hours, but that rating is tested at the industry standard of 80 degree air, 60% relative humidity. All dehumidifiers are rated in this environment. Even a household dehumidifier that you buy at you know, the big box store that's a 40 pint dehumidifier, just a little bitty one, is rated 40 pints per day at 80 degrees, 60% relative humidity. So that's how we compare them. Now some ask, well gee whiz, the Santa Dry seems to be two and a half times as effective as a 40 pint dehumidifier. Is that true? Well, let's take a look. First of all, we find a big problem. In a basement, we don't have 80 degree air. We have 68 degree air. Now we know that the warmer the air, the bigger the air is. So 80 degree air is big air. And it's holding 60% of the maximum amount of water it can hold when these industry standard tests are done. Now, in a basement, if we have 68 degree air, that's much smaller air and it holds a lot less water. And you know, in order to dehumidify the air, we have to cool it first. So it's easy to cool 80 degree air because it's pretty hot air. So to cool it is an easy thing. But the lower temperature we go, like in the air temperature in a basement or a crawl space, the less of a spread we have between the temperature of the air that we're starting with and the freezing temperature, which of course is 32. So, the challenge for dehumidification systems is to be very efficient at lower air temperatures, at least the dehumidification systems we're going to use in a basement or a crawl space. So what we find is that 68 degrees, the temperatures that we find in, in crawl spaces and basements, that the Santa Dry is not going to take out 100 pints per day. It may take out, let's say, 60 pints per day. So it drops off as the temperature goes down, but that household dehumidifier that's rated at 40 pints, the little one, that are very common that we see, might drop from their original rating of 40 pints to down to as little as six or eight pints per day at a cooler temperature that we commonly find in a basement or crawl space. So we're really comparing eight pints to 60 pints. And if we look at it that way, the Santa Dry is six or seven or eight times as effective as a household dehumidifier. And hey, if the small household dehumidifier is not going to do it for you, if it's chugging away in the corner, not moving a lot of air, not reducing the relative humidity in the basement and never shutting off, not only is it using more energy that way, but it's not keeping the relative humidity in your basement down below 60% where mold cannot grow. If it doesn't do the job, it's not worth anything. So how can it do that? How can the Santa Dry be so much more effective? And very exciting that it's Energy Star rated. It takes that much water, that much more water, out of the air than a household dehumidifier at the same amount of power usage. In other words, 
This unit takes 6.4 amps, and typically a 40 pint dehumidifier would have six and a half to seven amps of electricity close to the same. So we've got much more water out of the air for the same electricity. How can it do that? Well, one big reason is the heat exchange core. If we look under the filters here, we see this, this material here. This is a heat exchange core. And this is what that looks like. And this is one of the reasons the Santa Dry is so big, because this heat exchange core is positioned right here inside the unit. Now, this heat exchange core, we can see through this way, and we can see through this way. And it's positioned up here. And what happens is the air comes into the top of the unit. It gets filtered very well. Then it goes through the heat exchange core this way. Then it goes over the cold coil, and it cools. The cold coil cools the air. It drops the moisture out of the air. And then, rather than just blowing that air out the back of the unit, we're taking that cool air and we're bringing it through the heat exchange core this way. And then we bring it down the back of the unit over the hot coil and out the, out the blower. So what we've done is we've cooled the air over the cold coil and then we've taken that cool air and pre-cooled through the heat exchange core the new incoming air. Why is that important? You see, in order to cool the air, the air has to be in contact with cold surfaces. And the amount of time that the air is in contact with cold surfaces, we call that the resident time. So the longer the air is in contact with cold surfaces, the more it's going to cool and the more water is going to drop out of it. That's how a dehumidifier works. That's the magic of it. But a little household dehumidifier with a little squirrely uh, spiral coil has a very small coil to it. And the blower is very small as well, because if we blew air over that tiny little coil very quickly, the air would go by that coil so quickly and we have basically zero resident time and it wouldn't take any water out of the air at all. So we have a small cold coil and a small fan in a household dehumidifier. If you put your hand on the front and back of a household dehumidifier, you can't really tell. Is it blowing front to back or back to front? I can feel some air movement, but I can't really tell which way it's blowing. That's because it's got such a small blower on it because the whole thing is a very small, light-duty type of unit. The Santa Dry has a 250 CFM blower. 250 cubic feet of air per minute is blowing out of this unit, and it's going all through the room, mixing through the space. The dry air is drying the building materials, drying the contents of your basement, and then, of course, for every cubic foot of air that's going out, that much is coming in. It's drawing new air back in. It's drying it effectively after it filters it. And it's very effective at drying the space and making smells go away. So how can we have such a big blower in this thing and still have resonant time? Well, this heat exchange core is the reason. We can blow air very quickly through here because we have a lot of cold surface area. Besides this uh, heat exchange core, we have the coils inside here. And as you can see, these things are like truck radiators. There's lots of cold coil surface area on this uh, big uh, cold coil so that we can have our air in contact with cold surfaces for long periods of time. If we take a look at this unit with the side cover off, we can see that the air will go through the air filter, through the heat exchange core, comes out the front this way, there's a tray here that collects all the water that drops out of the cold coil. And we even get water condensing and dropping right off the heat exchange core. Uh, that's how effective this is. So the air comes, it gets cooled, it comes to the front, it goes up this way, goes through the heat exchange core that way, goes down the back of the unit over the hot coil that's down there in the back, and then through the blower and out the back of the unit. The Santa Dry drains through a hose out the back of the unit. And this can be stuck into a sump pole, into a water guard port, into a drain system, a floor drain. Or if there's no place to run it, a condensate pump can be installed on the back of the unit. Even if a basement doesn't leak groundwater, it needs a Santa Dry. Let me explain. You see, what causes high relative humidity in a basement besides moisture coming through the concrete, water wicking through the concrete, groundwater seepage, and of course, plumbing leaks. Well, besides all that, we have air coming in from the outside and condensing on the cool basement surfaces. You see, 
a house breathes. Warm air rises. It rises in the winter because we heat the air with our furnace or our boiler artificially with fossil fuels. And the air rises, warm air rises in the summertime through solar heating of the air in the house. So air escapes out of the upper levels of the house. Now we can't create a vacuum in a house, so we need new air coming in to replace the air that escaped. So basically your house is blowing air out the top and sucking air in at the bottom. So our basement is sucking air in from the outside. Now in the winter time, we have an energy penalty if we let air in from the outside, certainly. We can't prevent it 100%. But in the winter time, the air is cold outside. Cold air is small air. When we bring it to the inside, we heat it, and the relative humidity drops. Why? Because the relative humidity goes down by 2.2% for every one degree that we heat the air. So in other words, that translates into, in the winter time, we don't really have much of a moisture problem relative to condensation and humidity in the air because our heating system is drying our house out. However, in the winter, it's the opposite. You see, summertime air is big air. It's really hot air. It could be 80 degrees, 85 degrees or more. And it has high relative humidity. When the house sucks that air inside, it cools the air. Did you know that the earth temperature in your state is the average outdoor air temperature year round? In other words, clearly the average outdoor air temperature, the temperature of the earth, is lower than the summertime temperature. So that's why when you suck hot humid air into the basement, it gets cooled because the surfaces of the basement underground are cool. Well, that's how we get condensation and damp, funky, moldy smells in our basement in the summertime because we sucked warm humid air in and then cooled it, raised the relative humidity, caused condensation, caused high humidity, and mold is having a party, dust mites are having a party on floors upstairs. And unless you have a finished basement, you wouldn't have dust mites in the basement because you don't have people shedding skin in the basement and that's what they live off of. But clearly we have mold and funny smells and we have a basement that we really are not happy with that we can't use in the summertime because of the high relative humidity. The Santa Dry is the answer. The Santa Dry CSB has all the same technology as the upright Santa Dry, except everything's a little bit smaller and a little bit more compact so that we can fit it into a smaller space, such as a crawl space. The Santa Dry CSB is rated at 90 pints compared to the Santa Dry upright, which is rated at 100 pints. As you can see, the Santa Dry is really a basement miracle machine, but there's reasons for it the big cold coil surface area, the heat exchange core, and the big blower are three of the biggest reasons why the Santa Dry can outperform any dehumidifier on the planet.